Don't be a fool, right? I mean, you, you just got like, what, another week? And then the, the big holiday break's coming up. Stay tuned for that. So, what we got out in Hampton for breakfast? Looks like it's going to be pizza stick or a Pop-Tart and graham crackers. You'll get fruit and then milk or juice to wash that down with. Now, don't forget it's family day also out in Hampton. Lunch is going to be chicken and dressing with a roll, creamed potatoes, green beans, and fruit salad. Yummy. Out in Harmony Grove, looks like uh, breakfast is going to be that AM sausage roll and potatoes and fresh fruit. And then for lunch, one of my favorites, it's chicken skeddy. Green beans, sweet taters, pears and fresh fruit. Hey, and if you don't like that, well, have a burger and fries. I don't have Bearden's menus yet, but I can tell you what's going on at Camden Fairview. Pre-K breakfast is the ham, egg, and cheese combo bar. You'll get fresh fruit and then milk. Elementary, your breakfast is going to be pancake on a stick. Orange juice, apple juice, and milk. Oh, and you get fresh fruit. And for you middle and high schoolers, that's right, it's a choice. Pop-tarts or cereal, apple cinnamon muffins or pancake on a stick. You get fresh fruit, orange juice, apple juice, and milk. Pre-K lunch at Candy Fairview? Well, it's going to be a crispy chicken sandwich with cheese. You get Sidewinder fries, mixed fruit, and milk. For the elementary at Camden Fairview, crispy chicken sandwich with cheese, Sidewinder fries, baby carrots, mixed fruit and fresh fruit, and milk. And finally, for you middle and high schoolers, it's either going to be buffalo chicken and bacon, grilled cheese, or a club wrap, sidewinder fries, salad bar will be open, mixed fruit or fresh fruit, and milk. Good well, we're feeding you on a Monday with your menus. I'm JJ. Isn't it about time for somebody's favorite radio program? Can we turn the radio on? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> This is rather festive, isn't it? It's my favorite time of year. How many days till Christmas vacation? This is your vacation. Get to work, Elf. Son of a nutcracker! It's go time. Wake up! <laughs> yes, it's time to rise and shine, campers. 723 on the AM side of the sundial. Currently 30 degrees out there. And Eddie and Carl, not to be trusted... Uh-uh. Not to be believed ever again. Nope. What happened this weekend, dude? That's a good question because, you know, I had a wedding this Saturday. Right. And I had to watch the weather to make sure that, uh, since it was an outdoor wedding, <laughs> what are we going to do if, you know, the sky just opens up? Right, right. So, National Weather Service said here, Friday night into Saturday morning, we were supposed to see some activity. Absolutely. It was 99% certain. Yeah, nothing happened. But over in Hot Springs, oh, they got they got slapped. <laughs> they did, man. I mean, uh, what, what was expected to come here was over there. Oh. So then they were calling out by 4 p.m. Oh, 4 p.m. Oh, it's got cats and dogs falling from the sky. You know, tornadoes, twisters, hail, and damaging winds and all this stuff, right? And uh, neither Camden nor Hot Springs saw any of that type of activity. But it did form west of us once it crossed the state line. It went over there and wreaked havoc on everybody else. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I was hearing on the news, you know, about all, all of these other places. See, I need to do a brake job on, on my truck. And, and I had gone off the weather, so, you know, I was like, well, pfft. Ain't happening this weekend, you know. Yeah. I and mean, then it was beautiful. I mean, I had to turn the air conditioner back on. Yeah, my AC came on. I mean, I was like, really? I heard it kick on, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> you know, let, me, let me check the calendar. Is this June or not? You know, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a really wild weekend, man. Hey, it's Arkansas. If you don't like the weather. Wait 15 minutes. Yep. <laughs> Let's but, see. You uh, know, but thoughts <clears throat> and prayers, though, do go out to those over in Tennessee. In uh, Kentucky State Line, there were six deaths uh, that were caused by that tornado or tornadoes that ripped through there. And one of them just happened to be a two-year-old. Seeing that is so tragic. Yeah. So, I mean, we joke about it here because, you know, we were we were ready. We were anticipating. We, we did what we were supposed to do. Be prepared, not scared. We, we were on the standby. And it just skipped over us and went over there. Unbelievable. 
I think uh, ABC was reporting 19 different uh, tornadoes out of this last storm system. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it was a bad storm system, and I guess, you know, uh, we here in South Arkansas just got blessed. Yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining, but, you know, it, it's it's that, remember when you were a kid and you know you were going to get a butt whooping when you got home? Yeah. And, and you and you <clears> were prepared for it because they dragged it out? Yes. And and so you, you prepare for it, and, and your body goes through this thing where you just get really tense and everything. Mm-hmm. And then when it never happens? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I was exhausted. Yeah. You you just find find yourself physically and mentally exhausted because you were you know anticipating this butt whooping you were supposed to be getting and they either forgot or they're like eh, I'm not gonna bother with it now and it just messes with your head. Yeah, I I I couldn't agree more. You know, a holy slap, that's what it was. Yeah. A holy slap. Well, and the weather National Weather Service needs to really be careful about how they put because they seem to dramatize it more now. You, you're absolutely right. I mean, you, well, they, they're so worried about getting it wrong that they're not getting it right. Yeah, but the problem is you start conditioning people that when you start hearing, oh, this weekend is supposed to be you know, all kinds of God is coming. Be prepared for God to come. The finger of God will, you know, drop down from the skies and give its wrath. Clean this mess up. And so we get prepared for it, and if it keeps doing that, eventually it's like that car alarm that keeps going off in the Walmart parking lot. You know, in the beginning, you're like, ooh, somebody's getting a car broken into. And now you just you, you just walk by the car while the alarm's screaming because it's like, eh, it's probably a malfunction. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it, it, it reminds me of that old story about the little boy that cried wolf. Yes, that too. There you go. But it conditions people to believe that, eh, whatever. And then next thing you know, the wrath of God does drop down out of the sky, and people get hurt up to people getting killed because they didn't take the necessary precautions because, like, eh, whatever, we've we've done this dancing song before. You know, it, it, it was funny the last time, too, so there you go. Mm, All sorry. right, uh, let's see. What else? Uh, did you have a good weekend there, Doc Bryce? Oh, man. Did you see Did you see what I posted about Mikey? No. So, I, I haven't been on Facebook, but a couple of minutes. So the wedding that we did Saturday was really different from any other wedding we've ever done. And the bride wanted EDM to okay. direct, throughout most of the reception. Right. So EDM is electronic dance music, for those of you who don't know what that is. And so all the EDM stuff I have is outdated because, well, my library is based on what I did in the clubs back in the day. So, I mean, I've got some, but I don't have anything that's current. So... Between Mikey and Spotify, Mikey got up on Spotify and said, you play that one. You need to play that one there. Play that one there. So I showed him how to uh, load it up and everything. Right. So he just DJed and I emceed. There and you go. he tore the dance floor up. He had him out there. Bas- he basically threw a rave Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> he's 15 years old and he's feeling out the dance floor and everything. And I looked at him and I was like, dude, he made every penny he got. From this weekend, right? From working, he earned every every one of it. He did an amazing, and the 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 the, the reception party and everything. The bride, the groom, the guests were, were coming to me and go, "Oh man, you did great!" And I pointed back at Mikey, and I'm like, "That was him. That was all him right there." <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't know this crap. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody gets cuda, tell him. So I mean, he was he was glowing this weekend. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I am so glad the boy had a good time. Yeah, me too. He made me proud. So, uh, <laughs> we didn't do much. We, uh, d- d- well, I, I did a, uh, my, my traditional turkey tetrazzini over the weekend. Yeah. That was really, really good. And, uh, did it with, uh, leftover smoked turkey. Oh. From, uh, my friends out at, uh, Flaming Pig. Oh, speaking of the Flaming Pig, it's so, Clifton's birthday to say, today. He's got a birthday today. Yes. And, uh, Clifton. You know, Angela checked in with me way early this morning. She was like, dude, I don't know if you're awake yet or not, but don't forget it's Clifton's birthday. <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, so. we know, we know. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, yes, happy birthday to our boy Clifton Humphreys from the Flaming Pig. He always takes such good care of us. We hope you have a very happy birthday, little brother. All right, guys and gals, it's the roundtable brought to you each and every weekday morning by our friends out at St. John's Place in Fort Us, Washington Nursing and Rehab in Camden, 
They are the choice for all of your rehabilitation and long-term care needs, and they provide award-winning short-term therapy services, too. Read them online, stjohnsplaceofarkansas.com, or www.washedonnursing.com. Oh, you're killing me. First it's choice. Monday. First choice family care. 476 Hospital Drive. That website, myfirstchoicecare.com. They are now open from 7 to 7, Monday through Friday, for all your medical needs. OCMC's CDU reminding you you're not alone. I mean, especially here in the silly season, it's really, really easy to slip. Get the help you need. Talk to somebody, man. These people are the very best. I mean, quite literally, the very best. 1-800-232-1289, 870-836-1289. All calls are confidential. Mitch Lowe's Body Shop, auto body and collision repair framework, glasswork, refinishing. Accidents do happen. So if you put it in the ditch, you better go all Maria at Mitch Lowe's Body Shop, 837-2560. We're brought to you by Everybody's Antiques down in El Dorado, corner of Bradley and West Hillsboro. They have got that super sale coming up this weekend. It's the last sale of the year. Going on Friday and Saturday, Everybody's Antiques, Corner Bradley in West Hillsboro. You don't want to miss this one. They will have store-wide savings. And if you'll go to the Facebook page, like, share, and invite a friend, well, you never know. You might get something special out of it. Ooh. I'm just saying. The two-day event going on this Friday and Saturday, December 15th and 16th at Everybody's Antiques. We are brought to you in part by Stories Floor and Carpet. 2004 Lorraine in El Dorado. They do more than just flooring. Custom top backsplashes, kitchens, uh, bathrooms, countertops. They do it all, man. And they even invite you to visualize. Visualize. You can see that new flooring project online at storiesfloor.com. Head over to the website, upload your photo into their visualizer, visualize. and see your options. options. 870-862-9446. And finally, by Cabin Rural Health Services. Cabin's mission is to meet the health care needs of the folks in Calhoun, Clark, Bradley, Mary Up, Central Payette, Washtenaw, and Union Counties. Don't wait. Vaccinate. Find out all the info you need about vaccinations and all your other medical issues at 870-798-4299. We'll be right back. Good morning, South Arkansas. It's time for the Washtenaw River Report for Monday, December 11th in Camden. The current gauge reading is 9.39 feet. Argadelvia currently at 4.59 feet. At Thatcher Lock and Dam, the current gauge reading is 77.42 feet. And at Morro Bay State Park, the gauge is 66.3 feet. No river warnings currently in effect, so let's talk about state landmarks. Places like Buffalo National River. It was the first national river established in America in 1972. The river runs for 153 miles through the Ozarks and the Springfield Plateau. The area surrounding the river is a park managed by the National Park Service. In the park, you can hike along the trails surrounding the river, camp, learn about the park's history, or paddle down the river. Stay up to date with your current river conditions right here every weekday morning. It's time to check the Radio Works South Arkansas Community Bulletin Board. Mark your calendars. It's time for Friends and Family Day at Holly Grove Baptist Church, located on Highway 203 in Holly Springs. The pastor is Philip D. Porsche. The guest speaker will be Pastor Kenneth Don from the St. James Baptist Church in Camden. Friends and Family Day will be Sunday, December 17th at 3 p.m. Everyone is invited to attend. Looks like the new week starts with sunny skies and temperatures reaching near 55. Your winds will be calm, humming out of the south at around 5 miles per hour. Tonight, clear skies, overnight low near 30. For Tuesday, it'll be sunny and 58. Then on Tuesday night, mostly cloudy skies with an overnight low near 34. Wednesday, partly sunny and 57. Thursday, mostly sunny and 58. Out of the Radio Works Weather Center, I'm J.J. All right, as we dive back into the roundtable, Monday, December 11th style. 
You know, it just so happens to be the uh, most popular day that people break up too, right, Doc Brass? Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Got to <laughs> yeah, That's the best time, too, because, you know, Christmas. Can see, you don't have to buy anybody Christmas gifts. Uh, that, that's exactly right. Let's see. So uh, if you're the person, if the person you're with texts and says, can we talk? Well, brace yourself today. You're more likely to get dumped today than any other day of the year. December 11th was dubbed Breakup Day back in 2008 after someone analyzed Facebook status updates. And they found a ton of people break up uh, exactly two weeks before Christmas. It also found there tend to be more breakups on Monday in general. So the 11th is a uh, double whammy this year. Yeah. Well, it's not working. There we go. The hustle and bustle of the holidays. Shopping can be confusing. Guys having a hard time finding the perfect gifts for your girlfriend? Well, here's a money-saving idea. Break up with her. Maybe it's not a gift you can't find. Maybe it's because you don't find interest in her any longer. So the perfect time to break up is now. Before you and she spend hundreds on expensive presents. And after the ball drops on New Year's, you try to break it off and she'll ask, Well, how long have you been feeling like this? And you'll say, around Thanksgiving. And she'll say, Well, you could have let me know then. So save money. Break up today. Your single buddies ready to go clubbing for the holidays will be glad you did. They never liked her anyway. There you go. Well, that's true. Yeah, so... uh, Never liked her anyway. And the experts think there are a few reasons for it. The holidays are stressful. You might be having second thoughts about the person meeting your family. And a surprising number of us, like Doc Bryce, will break up just to get out of buying somebody a gift. Yep. So, uh, yeah, turning the calendar also represents a fresh start for a lot of people. So if things aren't going well, it may feel like a natural time to cut your losses and move on. The day of the year you're least likely to get dumped? Christmas Day. Because that's just cruel. What about Valentine's you Day? Don't assume you're safe if you make it to the 25th. No, man, that that is like the ultimate breakup day. Now, that's cruel. Yeah. The <laughs> poll also found uh, some of us avoid breakups this time of the year, so we're not alone for the holiday. But on the 26th, breakups will start trending up before peaking again in March. So there you go. There's a couple of reasons to dump someone no matter what day it is, right? Like if she never refills the Brita, uh huh, she got to go. Gotta go. If her motto is, "What would Amber Heard do?" Yeah, yeah. gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. It's the year 2023, and she still says faux shizzle. Got to go. Got to go. You find her friends annoying, except that one that you're going out with, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You say tomato. She says, "Don't mansplain me." Uh huh. Yeah, another reason she got to go. Got to go. She says increasingly unhinged things. You know, like, let's get married. Ooh. Ooh. (laughs) And for the ladies, if he thinks those Lemu Emu's ads are funny, he got to go. Got to go. When when you tell him what you want for Christmas, his response is, but they don't sell that at Kohl's. Yeah, got to go. Got to go. He dares suggest Travis Kelsey was someone before dating Taylor Swift. Oh, he just hadn't got a clue. If he's Team Oates, and the obvious victim is this uh, in this thing is Hall, you know, I'm I'm just saying. A couple of great reasons to get dumped or dump someone, no matter what day it is. Got to go. Got to go. <laughs> got to go. Let's see what else we got in the good old news. You know, we were talking about slaps earlier. You know, with the weather and stuff like that, uh-huh. and. There's you, Jada Pinkett Smith. You remember her, right? Yeah. You know, and Will Smith. Yeah. And Chris Rock, and right? the whole slap thing. Yeah, yeah, the whole slap thing, right? Yeah. Well, Jada Pinkett Smith no longer sees the infamous Will Smith Oscar slap as a bad thing. In fact, she now calls it the holy slap because, quote, so many positive things came after it. The most positive at all, it saved their marriage. She says, quote, that moment of the crap hitting the fan is when you see where you really are. 
After all those years trying to figure out if I would leave Will's side, it took that slap for me to see I will never leave him. Who knows where our relationship would be if that hadn't happened. Mm -hmm. So if all that's true, then who's this new lady that Will's been hanging out with? I mean, she, she's bald and black, just like another certain female in Will's life. And he's been spotted with her twice now. Just saying, Hollywood insiders want to know. What you talking about? Well, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Is she cute? I, I, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, I mean as, as long as she's cute. I mean, yeah. Well, I, I guess Jada approves. So, there you go. Well, you know, it's hard for a man to ever cheat up. If they're cheating, you know. I mean, can't, men can't cheat up. You don't think? Oh, I know. They always cheat down. Women, on the other hand, they cheat up. That is uh, Doc Bryce at Yes Radio Works. It's scientific com. fact. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can argue with me, but you can't argue with science. We learned that during COVID. Well, there is a lot to be said for uh, <laughs> science. So uh, Follow the science. How would you feel about eating some garlic shrimp? Ooh. You I like, like, you like garlic yeah, shrimp? Yeah, I like shrimp and I like garlic. What, what about having it on a plane? Or like on a train? No, no, no. On a plane. But what I eat or, them or what about having it on a plane after it was made in the plane's bathroom? In the ba- bathroom? I thought you were going to go like while it's when it rains or something. You know, no, no, no. There, and ham there's a guy on TikTok who makes videos where he cooks elaborate things in hotel bathrooms. But he just had a, quote, terrible idea. He posted a video where he makes garlic shrimp inside the lavatory of a commercial airplane. He said he was lucky to get past security because the components to build the heating element might look like a bomb. (laughs) He used six volt batteries wired to an immersion beverage heater and it got hot enough that the raw shrimp only needed a few minutes. He added instant mash to the shrimp uh, water in the sink for extra flavor and topped it off with garlic butter. Now once everything was made, He tossed it into a complimentary barf bag and walked back to his seat to enjoy his meal. So is that like doing like a walking? Yeah, I don't know. But you got to wonder what the next person to go into the bathroom was thinking. What's that smell? Why does it smell so garlicky and shrimpy in here? Why does it smell so fishy in here? (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, my God. You know, and I love shrimp. Well, I used to love shrimp. I still like shrimp. I would eat them here or there. I would eat them anywhere. I would eat them on a plane. I would eat them on a train. Even out of the bathroom sink. Well, no, that's where I'd have to draw the line. Well, uh huh. <laughs> there you go. Speaking of drawing the line, artificial intelligence is about as popular as tinsel these days. But Santa has found a way to harness the power of AI for good. Santa is using robot elves to produce and send messages to children, possibly for free, with the help of a company called Handy Written, an automated handwriting solutions company. They offered to help Santa send out holiday cards. Here's how it works. Parents, you can put in a good word for your kid by going to handywrittenbysanta.com. Now, that's H A N D, I'm sorry, handwritten by Santa.com. There we go. H A N D W R Y T T E N by Santa.com. And you can sign up with your email to receive a code. The first 6,000 requests are free. Then they'll begin charging a small fee. As of last night, there were about 1,900 free codes left, so you better act fast. Then Santa, with the help of AI, will make sure the good kids know that their notes and wish lists have been received. Cards should arrive peppermint-scented and containing a sprinkle of look-alike snowflakes with a return address of the North Pole. They recommend placing orders by this Friday. That's pretty cool, man. I I love stuff like that. Uh Uh-huh. Anyway. Just some of those wonderful things that you can do if you uh, want to, right? Mm-hmm. 
You a Christmas super fan, Doc? A Christmas super fan? Yeah, apparently that's a thing. Is this like a Super Bowl kind of thing? Well, I mean, it, it, if you're a super fan of Christmas, the place to be right now is West Virginia. West Virginia. An annual study found it's the most festive state in the U.S. They rank the Christmas spirit of all 50 states by looking at Google searches for things like Christmas decorations, Christmas songs, and wrapping paper. Mm. And West Virginia is the most festive state in America for the second year in a row. Really? It ranked first in searches for songs, decorations, wrapping paper, ornaments, and terms like Santa Claus, Christmas Eve, and Rudolph. Idaho has the second most Christmas spirit, followed by Utah, Nebraska, New Hampshire, Missouri, Wisconsin, Kansas, <laughs> Kentucky, and Montana. <laughs> and the Grinchiest states, New York, Florida, Hawaii, Maryland, and Nevada. Okay. Okay, then. They also looked at the uh, Christmas terms we've been Googling the most, and there's a new number one. We're searching for ugly Christmas sweaters more than anything else. That's funny because I have to order my ugly Christmas sweater like today. My wife is demanding that we get a picture in ugly Christmas sweaters this year. Really? Yes. Yeah. I've got to order one because apparently I can't buy one because it looks like everybody else's when you buy one. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, you don't want to look like everybody else's. Well, right. You know, and, uh, how embarrassing would that be? Yeah. So uh, the rest of the top five are Christmas Eve, Advent Calendar, Christmas Music, and Christmas Movies. Those are your top Google searches <laughs> for Christmas. How fun is that? More fun than, than I want to have. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know that's right. Oh, my. And what's the hardest drug Julia Roberts has ever taken? Oh, do tell. During a game of Plead the Fifth on Watch What Happens Live, she admitted that it was mushrooms. That's a drug? Shrooms, dude. Yeah, shrooms are definitely a drug. See, you, you got to go and get them out of the pasture. Anyway, she she doesn't regret it. In fact, she called it a positive experience. Quote, <laughs> it was nice. Yeah. Well, no, not to do not, that again. Not going to lie. <laughs> Kids don't try it at home. Elsewhere on the show, Julia revealed that she turned down You've Got Mail, which ended up being the third romantic comedy starring Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. And these things happen all of the time, of course. Uh, Julia added, quote, Meg was supposed to be in Steel Magnolias, and she was still filming when Harry met Sally, so I got that part. Kate Blanchett was supposed to be in Closer, but she got pregnant, so then I got that part. So I've lucked into some good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. So uh, you go, Julia Roberts. Still like her. She's one of them fun people. Let's see, uh, what all do we have coming up this week? Any ideas there, Doc Bryce? Well, we continue on our uh, A Caroling We Will Go. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so we, we got that going on. And there's there's stuff scheduled all through the month up until, you know, up until Christmas and stuff. And we've got uh, the Santa's Workshop that's going on every Saturday. So you, you've already missed the first two Saturdays. So that's going on every Saturday up until the 23rd. And okay. that's your chance to be able to um, go get your picture or your kid's picture. Well, I mean, you know, you can be a big kid. <laughs> I'm a Toys R Us kid. And, and you can get your picture taken with Santa, too. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't mind if you break his knee there or something. But, um, yeah, it's a great opportunity to be able to take your kids over there, get your picture taken with Santa, and all proceeds go to benefit the women's uh, Crisis Center of South Arkansas. All right. So that's every Saturday up until the 23rd, so you've already missed the first two. So you got two more chances if you keep messing it up. All right. And then, let's see, today's, what, the 11th? Bum, bum, bum. So between now and the 15th, Camden Police Department is doing their scavenger, their Christmas scavenger hunt. Yes. So you got to go over by the uh, Popo Department and go pick you up scavenger uh, card. 
like a go get your play sheet. Yeah, a play sheet. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me help you there. <laughs> and also, they'll give you some instructions on what to do and what not to do. Oh, they'll tell you where to go. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, just because you see an item that looks like the item that's on your list, but it's, like, behind a glass or a locked door or something. Right. Yeah, you probably shouldn't go, you know, break and entering to, to retrieve it. Yeah, I mean, please don't. <laughs> yeah, the, the, there's one specifically set out somewhere publicly for you to go find, not not behind somebody's locked door or glass. Right. So, I mean, keep in mind, there are, you don't want to be breaking the law or trying to win the game. Breaking the law. Breaking, breaking the, the law, law. breaking yeah. the law. Yeah. So that's going on starting today through the 15th, and then everybody will meet up over at the, uh, the fire station, the, the main one. and Downtown. Will, downtown, and then they will tally up who the winner is. And while you're waiting on to find out who the winner is, they're going to have s'mores. Ooh, I like s'mores. So the fire department is going to set a fire. Boy, that is poetic <laughs> in and of itself. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna have a fire going. That way you can uh, melt your s'mores. <laughs> and then, also on the 11th, you get the OCMC a caroling. They're going to meet over at St. John's Episcopal at 5 to go a caroling. All right. And then, let's see. Then you got the uh, you got a, so you got Christmas trivia that's going on on the 14th. You've got the festive fudge delights on the 15th. The 16th will be the Christmas cookie swap. That'll be fun, huh? Kind of like a like, like a car swap. Yeah, I'm digging it. Yeah, bring your cookies and you swap out cookies and stuff. <laughs> show off Seven your, things. Show off your cookies. And the seventeenth, you got a community Christmas concert that's happening over there at New Mount Hebron, right? Church. And right. the big one, the big one on the twentieth. You've got the breakfast with the Grinch. And you can find all this stuff here, of course. You can go to yesradiowork.com. Stormy has uh, typed it all out. So that way you don't have to go to all these different Facebook pages and scroll down, 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 like I did. Right. To go find the stuff. It's up there on yesradioworks.com. Just go to the news and events page tab on there, and you will see that list. All right. And then that way you can plan accordingly. Cool. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. She did all that just for you. Why? Because Stormy cared. She is so amazing. That's why I love her so much. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, uh, it's the holiday season all month long around here, and we are vomiting Christmas everywhere we go, and apparently. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, we've got Santa's sleigh full of surprises. Uh-huh. All right, and uh, we'll go over that list here in just a couple of minutes. And then we've also got the Christmas Radio Extravaganza this week. You know, last week we did uh, Christmas trivia, right? Uh huh. The the whole live call in. Yeah. Today or this week is name that holiday song. Live call in. Yeah, my Christmas music got messed up this weekend. Yeah, I, I don't know what was going on you with that. You noticed it too? But, uh, no, because I wasn't listening to oh, the radio. Wow. Um, but. We will be uh, playing a clip of a song, a holiday song, and then all you have to do is know the name of said song and uh, be the right number caller, and we'll get you qualified for a $100 gift certificate from f h Junk Removal. They do uh, lawn care and haul off, you know, stuff and things, you know, that you don't want. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, we've got a $100 gift certificate. From the folks over at F and H Junk Removal Lawn Care, so you can use it however you want. I I, I guess over at F and H Junk Removal and Lawn Care, hundred dollar gift certificate. That's not bad for Christmas, especially yeah. if you want to get it spruced up right quick. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's good stuff. Do it. Um, let's see. Next week is name that holiday movie. So we'll uh, play some clips from holiday movies, and you get to. Name that holiday movie. Oh, my gosh. Most of the holiday movies are so cliche. I mean, how do you tell the difference? Yeah, I, I know. It's, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have fun with the holiday songs and the movies, and we're going to do that every weekday morning this week and next week. So, uh, yeah, you guys uh, stay tuned for that. Now, uh, is Santa's sleigh full of surprises? All right, so if you uh, haven't got your list handy, well, you better turn on your voice recorder or something. Here is the order. Now, we're not ready for you to call in. I'm not ready for you to call in yet. 
But here is the order for today. All right? So, Country Village Sporting Goods, $100 gift certificate. The Murphy Arts District, we've got those Ben Bailey com- comedy tickets. XOXO, a $40 gift certificate. Judy's Flowers, $166 in gifts. Dixon Designs, $100 gift certificate. The Speckled Rooster, $100 gift certificate. Hall of Sevens Floral, that's that Mova Globe, $180 value. Holt Builder Supply, $100 worth of Valspar paint. The Jewelry Box, a $25 gift certificate. Idani Wholesale Nursery, they've got a globe and stand worth $110. And the Perfix with a $100 gift certificate. Now, you guys, stay tuned. I will tell you when to call coming up here in the 8 o'clock hour. And you've got to name those things in the order I just went down. And, uh, yeah, then we'll get you qualified, maybe. All right? If you can do it, just say it. All right, what else we got going on this week there, Doc Bryce? Anything uh, earth-shattering that we really need to get off our chest? Well, I mean, we got city council meeting tomorrow. Oh, and everybody should, uh, you know, get with it on city council. Yeah, yeah, you should come out here and uh, place your bets because uh, we, we like to run this little <laughs> pool here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> somebody brought that up because uh, uh, Quorum Court was last Tuesday. Right. And somebody brought that up that... We never place wagers on Quorum Court. And it's like, we don't have to. <laughs> Just they, I mean, they they don't, Some most of the time they don't even go the full hour. Because they start at 6.30. And let's see, last Tuesday, we were out before 7.30. So we were out just a little past 7. And we didn't know what really to do with ourselves the rest of the evening. So we went and got ta- tacos because it was Taco Tuesday. Well, you got to love that. Yeah. So it's nice when you get out while uh, the local restaurants are still open. See, that's what Cam. That's what City Council needs to figure out. See, see, they're losing money when they. When they they're they're costing revenue. Yes, when they go four hours trying to decide, you know, on minutes or uh, point fingers at you know a clerk or something like that. Right. Because if we get out on time, then we get to go eat. <laughs> yeah. And when we eat, we're we're pouring money back into the community. We're spending money. And that, that's good for the economy, but uh, no, nah, uh, city council uh, for some reason figured that out. So they like to get, keep us there late, 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 and then we go and then we go home and go to bed hungry. Well, yeah, and it, it just bites going to bed hungry. Oh, I hate that. And then I have to like rummage the fridge and find like leftover things to kind of piece together. Ew. I oh, see. I've got great leftovers right now. Yeah, but do you really want to be doing that at like twelve o'clock at night? That's exactly when you want to be doing that. <laughs> I got I got some cookies and cream, you know, some bluebell cookies and cream. Oh, uh, yeah, see, and, and wonderful uh, stuff. And uh, that's I, good for dinner. Oh yeah, that's just see, because I like to mix it up with that Rocky Road that's in there. Mmm. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. Oh yeah, baby. All right, guys, gals, it's the round table. Not much on Monday, so uh, there you go. We are brought to you in part by our friends out at St. John's Place and Fort Us, Washington Nursing and Rehab in Camden. Call them up, 870-352-2104 or 870-836-4111. Cabin Rural Health Services. Don't wait. Vaccinate. Get all the information you need at Cabin Rural Health, 870-798-4299. Stories Floor and Carpet, storiesfloor.com. they got six months no interest financing going on right now at Stories. Call them up, see what they can do for you. Don't forget about the website, storiesfloor.com, where you're invited to visualize. Visualize. You can see that new flooring project online <laughs> upload your photo into the visualizer visualize and see your options options everybody's antiques down in el dorado their largest or, or last sale of the year coming up this friday and saturday don't miss out on that 120 booths, thirty-one thousand square feet shop them online everybody's antiques.com they have got great gift ideas mitch lowe's body shop auto body inclusion pair Accidents happen, so if you put it in the ditch, just call <gasps> Maria 837-2560. OCMC CDU reminding you you're not alone. 870-836-1289, 1-800-232-1289. All calls are confidential. 
and by First Choice Family Care, Dr. Smith and staff now open 7 to 7, Monday through Friday, for all your medical needs. Call 870-800-9002. Doc, what you got? Well, I guess I'm going to get in some Glenn Becks over here. All right. You do that, and we'll do this. Your name here. News Talk 92 KBEU Bearded. News Talk for South Arkansas. News Talk 92 KBEU. Hello, South Arkansas. I'm Doc Brock.